I am. And uh, today we are going to be working with the activities of Tuesday 24, please. Okay, to start, well, first I will ask you to open the pages that are recommended in your activity sheet, please. And the first activity is to have a discussion. Of course, we cannot have a discussion if we are not here at school, but I wanted to reflect on this. Uh -huh. The question says, uh, how important it is for indigenous communities to have a say in their political decisions. What is to have a say? I mean, uh, what is referring that they have a vote or that they can have an opinion about them? Uh -huh. How important is that the indigenous people have an opinion about their lives, uh -huh, about their poli the political decisions that are made for them? Uh -huh. How important is this? I want you to write, please, in this is work, what do you think? This is your opinion, please. Later, we have these questions that are related to this listening. In the platform, in your activity sheet, I already sent you the, the manner to enter to the audio uh -huh, of the class. Please, I want you to check this, and I want you to answer these three questions. We are going to check uh -huh, to clarify them. The first is, what is the name of the document mentioned on the track? They are asking for the name of the document, please. Second, they are asking why is it important? They are asking for the importance of the document, please. Number three, who published this declaration? They are asking for a person. Remember that the question was who asked for the name of a person. Uh -huh. Who, what happened, okay? Later. We continue with the listening and we just have to fill uh -huh, in the gaps with the correct word according to the thing that you listen. Now, it is possible that you listen once, twice, three times, the times that you need so you can fill the information correctly. Please. Yes, I know that you can do it. Uh, okay, after this, and here, pay attention because we are starting or we are introducing our exam thing. Uh -huh. What is our exam thing? We are going to start checking gerunds. Remember that gerund is the verb, but we finish it with ing. Uh -huh. For example, we are going to work with the verb that is have. Okay, that it says. The indication says complete the sentence using the verb, but in gerund form. But you have to complete with your idea. For example, the first one, it says, everybody avoids. What is avoid? I mean to stop or to uh, not accept. Uh -huh. Everybody avoids, and the verb should be changed to an ing form that might be having. Uh -huh. Everybody avoids having uh, bad grades, for example, no, in your cases. Uh -huh. You have to complete the idea using the verb in general form. Uh -huh. Again, everybody avoids. In this case, my view, people shouldn't be discriminated for being uh -huh, ING and you go back with your idea. My grandparents' occupation involves doing, perfect, whatever. My point and so on, just with all of the words. Now, when you finish this, these sentences, student, should be written in your notebook, please. Second. These sentences should be written in the notebook, please. Don't forget your margins, your date, your title, everything, yes? The title might be activity page, uh, activity number four page, and you write the, the name, the number of the page, please. And in this same exercise, you're going to write here, B, if this word is a preposition, or B, if this word is a verb, I mean, if the word that is before the verb is going to be a preposition or a verb. In this case, this is a preposition, a ball, uh -uh, it's a verb. So you are going to write here, be or verb. In the case, for, for is a preposition or a verb. It's a preposition, so you are going to write here, he or preposition. Here, involves, it's a preposition or it's a verb. Okay, now it's your turn. Uh -huh. You have to tell me. If these three are prepositions or they are verbs, we have been working a lot with prepositions, so you might identify them. Just be careful. So, again, 
So these activities to which we like the introduction of the exam thing that I will explain to you uh -huh, that is the use of journals. But in this moment we just have this activity. Okay? Later. Okay. What are the activities that we have to follow for this day, Tuesday? Okay. We are going to go to the activity sheet. Uh -huh. And I have Tuesday here. And I have checked these videos so you can do the activities. Later, right? In your closet section, all the glossary words that are in the video already, uh -huh. there is a video there that says glossary 2327. Please use that video so you can extract all the words and I want you to write one definition per word. Again, as I always told you in my classes, you cannot, uh, it is pointless that you check the definition in the internet and then you just copy. That is not uh, good for you. Uh -huh. It won't give you anything. So better you read, you investigate, you observe images, whatever. And later, with your vocabulary, with your words, you write the definition. Or if you don't have words to have the definition, maybe you better you draw an image. That might be much better than just copy from the internet. Okay? So they write a short explanation of each of the words so you can understand them. This is for you, my friends. I already know the words. Uh -huh. I don't want the definitions. I want your definitions for you. Okay? Later, okay, enter to the forum called Forum 1 that is in the English class. Please, when you enter to the platform, you don't go to Avisos y Tareas to, for the, to enter to the forum. You go to Be English. Uh -huh. And there in Be English, you have the icon for the forum. Please search for it. Uh -huh. You press the forum. And later you have form one and you have the question. That is going to be write sentences with the glossary words. Now, be careful because the indication also says that you can repeat the, the ideas of your friends. So, if for example, if my friend wrote a sentence like uh, using the vocabulary word uh, logger, uh -huh. my father is a logger. You cannot repeat that idea. You have to write another sentence. Okay, so please, uh, as fast as you write, the more chances you have, okay? Later, um, okay, enter to the platform, so ah, here is the, how to enter, this is the route to enter to the track, so you can listen the, the audio and you can solve the activity that I already explained to you, okay? So, I think that that's it for the students. Thank you for your attention and I see you tomorrow here. And if you have any questions, be sure that I can help to you. And I hope you are going well at home. Please help and be doing your activities. See you. Bye.